Most of the other researchers are, are seeing very low uh, possibility for capturing carbon in soils. The rates at which they're seeing this are so low that it would be, it would never happen. We would never actually make any headway in reducing atmospheric CO2. With the biology, things change. It starts to restore the dynamic of the system that how it used to operate before we came in and, and crippled every uh, biological pathway that is in the soil. And I've seen with the biology, we can do it at at least 10 times the rate of carbon capture that anybody else has seen in, this, in their research. And other people now, progressive farmers and ranchers that are doing this are seeing as much as I'm seeing or more as far as a bit, a bit, our ability to ca capture carbon. So I see this as hope. I see this as um, the only mechanism that we can use to capture carbon practically, cost-effectively, and to offer so many co-benefits in the process. The carbon capture is the icing on the cake, in the, you know, pulling it from the atmosphere. But what we're doing to our soils, what we're doing to our rangelands, uh, it, will, it will change the whole paradigm of how we grow food on this planet. And implementing the microbes back into this system is the key. At least that's what I'm seeing in my research.